Okay, it's been a while, but uh, Jerry Rig 2, I think, is ready for its maiden voyage tomorrow. Um, so I'll just take a moment and um, let you see what I've done so far. All right, so here we go. So what we have here are the two tanks. That's the actual Jerry Rig 2 itself, the 55-gallon drum. As you can see right there, that is my water heater element. I haven't wired it up yet, but pretty much ready to go. Um, the processing or the mixing valve coming in from the back side. There you go, you see a little bit better. It'll be inlet. I gotta hook up the tubing for that just yet. What we have here is the waste oil collection. I don't know if you'll see you. Oh, better hold on to the camcorder so I don't drop it in there. But uh, there we go. Stand pipe. Uh, basically, the settled oil or the good oil uh, with less the uh, debris and less water will go into there and that's about I'd say eight inches from the bottom so that'll allow for quite a bit of sediment settling and then on the other side there's a drain so if I ever need to clean it I can drain it all right so again we've got the settling tank so let's look at the guts of this bad boy all right underneath again this was the sink drain which is then connected to a, uh, I think two, two and a half inch coupler, which goes down some pipe, which goes to a three quarter reducer, which then comes here. You can see where our drain is. Now I'm gonna have a problem with the drain. I'm, not, I'm just so excited to get this thing up and going, but I'm gonna have to solve this because right now the drain, I might have to take it into a uh, longer hose to get it into a bucket or something. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna deal with that yet. And yes, I know, I have the shutoff valve backwards, but didn't realize that until afterwards so I'm kind of hosed at this point so it's gonna stay there and no big deal all right so we've got it coming across and then it comes into a T right here um, so this will be to isolate when we're not mixing um, when I'm like draining uh, or when I'm filling so this is gonna be in the off position like it is right now so as the waste vegetable oil travels to the pump into it stops here once I'm ready to mix this will turn on the valve coming in for the waste vegetable oil will be in its off position which is where it is right now so what we've got is waste vegetable oil traveling down into the pump up into the T or into the hose that went up there that little elbow we showed you showed you so during the mixing process it'll just repeat that path and come here hit up and do a nice loop. Now, I have realized that this pump probably is not going to be sufficient to, to do agitation. So for the first few batches until I find a bigger pump, I think we're just gonna go instead of the, the full 40, 45 gallons, we're gonna mix full, uh, somewhere around 30 gallons, I think, just to make sure that it works fine. Okay, so now we have this will be for the meth oxide introduction. So the meth oxide, we wanna introduce it, we'll flip the lever down, engage while it's in the mixing and uh, should uh, do fairly well. Nice little suction. Again, here's the business end. Goes in, the pump comes up and we have this T. Now, when it's mixing and processing or loading, it's gonna travel to the left here. Um, the top half of this is for when the whole process is completed. What we'll do is turn this valve off like it is now and turn this valve on which is in the down mode and what it's going to do is take this our uh, our uh, product our biodiesel completed biodiesel to our storage tanks uh, or through uh, a wash process so that's what we've got going on right there so there you have it that is jerry rig 2 in its uh, simplicity i think uh, it's pretty simple um, I am going to end up modifying this a little bit. Oh, there's the inside. Forgot about that. There you go. That's my water heater spear down there. There you go. All right. So uh, we'll come back tomorrow when we fire off the first maiden voyage and uh, see how it goes. All right. Take care.